outdoor fish keeping season brings a whole nother buffet of options as far as ways that we can keep fish. I enjoy outdoor tubbing in the summertime and I've got several tubs to choose from. I wanna show you a few of the tubs that we'll have on our buffet of options this year as we choose which tubs we're going to use for some outdoor fish keeping. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the River Life YouTube channel yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you'd like to know when we publish new content, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I would appreciate it if you would share this video if you know anyone who likes content like this. So we've got the 300 gallon tub, by far my favorite, the large galvanized tub I've had with water in it for about a month now. There's no water discoloration, there's no leaks. We should be good to go as soon as the temp gets where it needs to be. I've got a 35 gallon round tub, bought it off the shelf at Home Depot, got the built-in steps uh, for plants, which is awesome. And I'm definitely gonna have a planted tub in the, in the 30, 30, 35 gallon, 35 gallon, Home Depot tub. Basically, we're using the word tub. These tubs are also known as stock tanks, used for agricultural purposes to feed and water livestock. But they're excellent for summer tubbing. They're durable. Usually they're not made out of a brittle material like glass or plastic. They're galvanized steel or plastic. So the Rubbermaid tanks that I have are the plastic. I have a 50 gallon oval shaped stock tank that's that's a low boy style. It's very shallow with a lot of surface area. I like that for keeping some fish and plants in. I also have a 70 gallon Rubbermaid tank, which is probably about 20 inches deep and maybe three and a half feet uh, on the long side of the oval and two feet on the short side of the oval. It's a nice size tank. Uh, the water depth is such that fish that congregate at the bottom, uh, if there's any cover at all, you may not see them as well as you do surface dwelling fish. And then of course the koi grow out pond, another 300 gallon Rubbermaid plastic pond that's kind of a odd circle, an, an ear, a non-conforming circle, not really an oval, not really a circle but a really nice stock tank. So these are some of the options that we're gonna be choosing from in order to keep fish in and use as plant nurseries to grow out and propagate some plants. I've got some ideas as far as filtration goes using one tank on top of the other tank and maybe a biological filter or a garden, a, a marginal plant garden to do the bulk of the filtration. Although on the 300 gallon, I already do have a Fluval 306 canister filter running on that full time, and I have a Zis filter to run in addition to that, just to make sure that I can get a fish load in there that won't be overwhelming to the biological filtration by itself. The smaller stock tanks probably are gonna have a community variety of fish heavy on live bearers. Guppies, andlers, swords, platies, you get the idea. I have in the past kept Gudeids in outdoor tubs and they did outstanding. I just want to breed a couple of different species that maybe I haven't tried before. I don't know what the best plants are. I know which plants do well for me. Uh, water lettuce, water hyacinth, duckweed. Uh, I mean, just to name a few, iris, if you're using a marginal plant, uh, it's not submerged. The iris do really well. The water lilies love the full sun. Those are just the ones I've had success with. Java moss goes crazy. I can't think of, wow, come to think of it, most plants I put in an outdoor tub seem to really enjoy it. So we'll try some new plant species this season too. But I wanted to give you an idea of the tubs that we've got to choose from, the types and styles and sizes. Have you used a different style tub? Are you using a different name brand? Do you have a resource you can share with us? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Summer tubbing offers us a different way to look at our fish. The dorsal view on a dark background with dark sides in a, in a mini pond, if you will. It's actually very inspiring. I love to do art. You can check out River Life Art on Etsy. There's also a River Life Art Patreon page. And feel free to check out the River Life Art Facebook page. Most of this art is inspired directly from tropical fish. And the guppy is very inspiring for such a small fish. It's so colorful and vibrant and easy to love. I don't know how anyone couldn't love a guppy. I don't know. 
outdoor summer tubbing, seasonal fish keeping outdoors. Can, it, it can be enjoyed by most people. You can start out with a five gallon bucket. You can turn a bucket into an aquarium, put it outside, raise some plants, raise some fish. You don't want to overcrowd it with the fish. You want to keep an eye on the temperature, make sure it doesn't get too hot. So plenty of shade with either the plants and or placement so it's not getting a lot of direct sunlight. That being said, you can raise some guppies in a five gallon bucket and it's not that expensive. You may even have one already laying around. Put some water in it, split off some of the plants you have in your aquariums, have a ball. Let us know in the comments below if you have success doing that. I have in the past. I find the fish are less skittish in the stock tank. I don't know if, it, it, if it's more of a natural habitat for them, but I had this group of mollies and even without food, they would come and explore my hands, swim in and out of my fingers. It was a very personable experience with fish and definitely heightened my appreciation of mollies. The koi are just always showstoppers. I really like the long fin koi, the butterfly koi. And I think they're fun and gorgeous and I love taking videos of them and sharing them. Uh, they're probably the most puppy-like. They do come to the surface and greet you very loudly and vigorously. And if you'll drop some food in there, they'll let you know how much they appreciate you. <laughs> I know lots of other YouTube creators that keep fish outdoors. This guy keeps seasonal tubs and he'd suggest that you give it a try. Rachel O'Leary was probably the one who inspired me with her YouTube videos of all of her outdoor tubs and her tub garden is just outstanding every year. I love to see that. Uh, one of my favorite videos is when she's tearing the tubs down for the season and the plants have just gone crazy and there's fry in the tank. This is just a really cool end of the season. Look what we did video. Uh, uh, what I'm thinking, you know, I really love Project Piaba and what they're doing for our hobby. They're protecting a fishery and sustaining our hobby by, in a very culturally sensitive way, helping the native fisher people in Brazil to harvest the fish and sell to the American market. And they do so, at least in the case of the Cardinal Tetra with the zero population to the wild fish impact. And wouldn't it be neat, I think it would be so cool to do a tub, maybe a blackwater tub with some botanicals uh, that had some, uh, some connection to Project Piaba. What would those fish be? I wonder, do Cardinal Tetra have a good dorsal view? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that and see what kind of tub would be suitable for a biotope, an Amazon River biotope tub. It sounds fun. I'll have to I'll have to do some more research on that. But in the meantime, you can check out Project Piaba at projectpiaba.org. You know, you could even get really creative and do something wild, even as something as small as a five-gallon bucket. I used some some off the wall, out of the box materials to build up aquarium once. Take a look. Yeah, I mean, you're only limited by your own creativity. And speaking of which, if you look at this painting, Rain Glow, I titled it, directly inspired by guppies. I walked by the tank, I looked, it's a muck guppy tank, saw all of these colors, just a barrage of colors. And so with the guppy inspiration, here's the work of art I came up with. And a lot of people have commented, they've seen this on the social media, River Life TN, Instagram, River Life Art Facebook page, and River Life Community Tank Live Facebook group. Uh, you can check out any of those. You're welcome to join us and see all the cool things we'd into on those social medias. But the guppy, wow, the great fish to keep in a tub. I hope you will try tubbing. If you've not done it before, I hope you'll give it a whirl. Let us know, drop a line in the comment if you plan on it, if you have, if you've had success. If you've got tips you can share with the rest of us, I'd be glad to hear your tips. I hope this acts as your inspiration to do some summer outdoor fish keeping. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on doing that or if you've done it before and have some tips for the rest of us. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the River Life YouTube channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified each time we upload new content. Till the next time, why don't you get out there and see it, love it, and live it.